Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial with Yvette at Yvette's Decor Services. Here we're going to start off with our our essentials. And this is two balloon pumps and that is just in case one goes off. The other one will be there to bail you out. And then we have our box of supplies. Um, one of them containing my apron, my scissors, uh, things like my string and safety pins. But of course you can also pack it with uh, other essentials like tape and other things that you might need in case something goes um, south. So here we have our balloons that we will be using. And for this project, we will be using pastel colors. We have the 12 inch, the 5 inch, and the 18 inch balloons. So here we're going to start off by blowing up our 12 inch balloons. And as you can see, we always want to round up by either excluding um, some of the air that we pumped in there or by simply just rounding them up depending on the size uh, that you want for your 12 inch balloons. And then once you blow up the balloons, you tie them together in twos and then you join them together making a bundle of four. And then here we're going to do the same thing. We're going to grab the 12 inch balloons and blow them up and tie them together. And for this one, instead of blowing up another set of 12 inch balloons, we will be joining it with a set of 18 inch balloons. Do the same thing, round them up and tie them up. Once you're done with that, you join it with your 12 inch. Now we're just going to make another bundle of the 12 inch uh, with uh, a set of four. So again, this is or an organic, so it doesn't matter if one is larger than the other. But yes, blow up uh, your 12 inch balloons, round them up, and then join them together once again, making a bundle of four. Now you're going to go ahead and repeat this exact process with different colors uh, that you have available in your assorted pastel package. There are other colors that I didn't use because I believe they were too dark um, and that was going to take away from the pastel look that I was going for. So we will be using all the light colors that are available in that package. Now to facilitate your process, you can also um, just uh, separate the balloons at home or your office or wherever you work from. Uh, that way you don't have to be uh, taking as long as I did for this process. Um, because as you can see, I opened the package um, in the location of the event. And that way it was, it was a little bit more time consuming, but you can either um, you know, separate them at home or just just, just do it um, how I'm doing it, whichever you prefer. And while you're still here, make sure you hit that subscribe button to follow um, our latest updates and make sure that you get a notification whenever we're uploading a new video, uh, whether it's a tutorial or one of our events that we did. Uh, we are a decoration service company in Chicago and we upload not only tutorials, but our work of the weekend. So here we're just blowing up the leftover balloons. So those we're just gonna put aside and uh, incorporate them um, towards the end. Now we're going to start off with our 5 inch balloons and you can start off with either color that you like. In this one we're starting off with the blue but of course do the same process by blowing them up and making bundles of four. For this one we only used uh, two bundles of four for each color. And here you can see that I'm moving around a little bit because it's a little bit more challenging to install a balloon garland when your legs are asleep. So make sure that you're, <laughs> you're not 
heavy. I mean, so make sure that your legs don't fall asleep because then it might be a liability. liability. So <laughs> just a quick advice, quick tip. And I didn't incorporate it in this video, but um, in a previous video, I showed you that you tie, you use a 260 cube balloon, the long balloons to tie uh, each end to the the smaller bundles of the five inch balloons. You tie them on each side so that whenever it's time to uh, use them as touch ups for your garland, it's much easier to uh, place them in. Um, and join them so for this one you grab one of the bundles and make sure you grab the tail end of the balloon um, and then you go ahead and tie those two ends to each other um, this process is not only saving you material but it makes your balloons look much full and together and of course it gives it that touch of professionalism and your colors look much more brighter So this same process you're going to repeat it with all the other colors as well where you're going to join those uh, bundles and then um, one thing is that this is my way of doing things I really don't like it being mixed up with all the colors I like them to be segregated and um, it just makes it look a lot more uh, beautiful when it's going from one color to the other like a rainbow. Um, but of course, you can do it your way, you can let your imagination run wild, and of course, do your own thing. So now we're going to grab our color bundles and join them together. Uh, for this one, personally, I did the yellow or the orange because I believe those are two sister colors. Um, and it will be nice that like the colors are transitioning. Like for example here, the blue and the purple and so on. But again, this is your project, this is your vision, and you do it as however you want to. This is just the only way. This is the only way I do it personally. Voila, we're all done with our garland. Now it's time to install. And if you're a shorty like myself, make sure you have a step letter in hand. So this is an 8x8 backdrop, which makes it a 16 foot balloon garland because it is 8 going up and 8, 8, 8 feet going up and 8 feet going across. So now we grab our fish line and we tie the end. So what we're going to be doing tie our balloon garland from the top corner, the, the middle and the other corner. Once you're done tying the balloons on top, now you go ahead and do a little bit of adjustment of the balloons and start tying your balloon garland on the side with some fish line. Now I personally like the balloons 
hooks that are much larger on the front. So I do rearrange the balloons, uh, the 18 inch, to um, face the front and look much nicer. And now you go ahead and add your touch-ups, the 5 inch balloons. And as you can see, these are already tied with the 260Q balloons. And it will make it easier to incorporate them on your balloon garland. Uh, for this one, I am doing it the orange with the orange, the yellow with the yellow, and so on. Just keeping them with their same colors. And you're all done. But of course, add a splash of color. Alright guys, I hope that all of you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you would like to see more of my tutorials, make sure you are following my page on YouTube. Otherwise, take care. Goodbye.